Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the garage here in London, England for the Academy Show of this week, episode number four of the new era. And tonight we kick off with new blood here in the Academy. Yeah, it's gotta be done and we're ready for them. Uh, the rosters are getting ever greater here in the Academy. It's going to get only going to get better from here on out. Tonight uh, we meet a debutante and it's just insane. Just insane. Comes from Long Island, New York. Right to you. And uh, well, let's see what that will bring to the table of course gonna be eventful but in which ways it will turn we're not ready for it all yet but who knows what will happen as we uh, are really on the way to our next iPay-per-view if you haven't watched our latest one we are about to lose control which we really did so make sure to check out youtube.com slash rfpw2014 subscribe and watch the latest iPay-per-view over there until that time comes you're here for the academy and if you haven't seen it yet also our episode of underground episode number five is also now up and can be watched right after this very live show and here they are Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the NSW, uh, well, former NSW Shockwave champion because this was taped prior uh, to the NSW Revolution I pay per view. Um, accompanied by Jay Money, the former NSW Shockwave champion, Jeffrey Blight. Because a revolution happened and they're in a triple threat match against Thomas End. And somebody else, he lost the championship to Thomas End. Right unfortunate, but that's the way it can go. And yeah, this is how it's gonna turn out to be. Just insane against Jay Money. And so what we've heard as of now uh, is the following is that the winner of this match uh, will be sent to Underground. So as debutant, Justin Say might be able to make it straight to the main roster. Or we'll see J Money go to uh, the Tuesday slash Monday night show. But of course, many people can stand in the way of that promotion. Just a matter of when, how, and where. Thank you everyone to uh, join in and view. Come on, Jay, beat that losing streak, my guy. Yeah. Jay Money, not on the best streak. Let's uh, check it out. Oh, and three. Zero wins, three losses. He really needs one. Was in participation for the tag team titles. Uh, we are about to lose control with Jeffrey as the money train against Ring Camp. To see, of course, the conclusion of that match, you can watch it on our YouTube network and Jim Money well really does have the momentum and once we uh, have seen this match we will go live to the garage in London England 42 matches that are still to come. Uh, actually, three more matches. Uh, Rachel Walker will be taking on Ariella Wolf. The Mundo will take on an unknown competitor. And Josh Sniper will defend this Academy Championship in an open challenge. Alright, so that's going to be interesting. Oh, J Money. Ooh, one. I think that might have been a road break. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to follow us here on Twitch. We appreciate the support that we can get. It's a new network, but we've been around before. Uh, don't uh, forget that. Been around for our um, 
well, currently, Ford here now with the uh, I Baby of last Sunday being uh, that Ford uh, year anniversary, actually. And if you still want to engage in the academy, then make sure to send us a message uh, in a reply via the chat or in a comment on YouTube, and we'll be able to uh, facilitate your stay in the RFPW Academy. And I can see, oh god, what a pile driver! Absolutely incredible. Is that the cover and the win? Two, three, J Money wins. And on the verge of that, we want to uh, thank our latest follower, follower number seven on the uh, network here, Raider GB84. Thank you very much. And uh, we will send you, of course, a message. And of course, this is the first winner, J Money. And it is finally, he's finally got rid of that loss. We always like to know who you are, where you're from, how you find us, anything you wish to share with us to get to know our viewers. The better, the more to know, the better there is. J Money will go to Underground on Monday slash Tuesday night show. Congratulations to him. And the money train will now be complete back again on underground. What's next as we go live? Here for our very first match, Ariel Wolf takes on Rachel Walker. If you want to tweet out, use hashtag RFPW Academy and send your tweets to at RFPWEFED. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on the way with this contest. And this contest, oh, starts off with a huge neck breaker. Rachel Walker, the former champion, handed her reign over on the academy uh, to Mercedes Ritchie after 15 days. Ariel Wolf, the seven time RFPW Academy women's champion. Hosting uh, the title for 176 days. An incredible length of reigns. Oh, and she's on the apron. Ooh, and also not only the men's division in the academy is strengthening and expanding. It also goes to the women's division. That coming up next week. But now, look. Oh, God. Twisting neck breaker. That's something really, really impressive. And if you have a prediction on who's going to win the match, as we see a huge face plant, make sure to type it in the chat if you're watching it as live. We want to get to know your predictions. Oh, and she's smashed into. The steel steps. This just might end in a count out. Oh. Uh, she's going to be taken down. Will she be taken down? Who knows? Oh. Oh, damn. Right. In the gut in the takedown. But a huge sweep of the legs. There's not looking good for Rachel Walker. Back into the ring we go. Arch goes up. Oh, ran in. Two turn buckle and a huge power slam followed by that. Wonderful display by these two women. Vile. Extreme even. But that's I guess what they're known for here. Oh, bang. Right hook punch. And it looks like Rachel Walker's gonna end it. Up. What well, goes up, of course, must come down and does. With a huge turnover, neck breaker. Two, three. Rachel Walker is your winner. Congratulations to Rachel on winning her match. Now I'll put Rachel Walker in a two 
win one lot situation. Ariel Wolf 0 to 2 now. Ooh. Gotta be dangerous. And after this, we will hear from our general manager for the academy, Soraya Knight. And we thank uh, Rachel Walker and Ariel Wolf for their contributions to tonight. Gosh, that was pretty quick, but yet yeah, so diverse. Absolutely incredible. And here she is saying this week we have several debutants and I want to welcome everyone to the Academy roster. With the roster expanding week by week, it is time to shake things up. We will put up an official grading system. Alright, as of tonight every wrestler will get a grade from 0 to 100 and based on that grading they will rise the ranks or fall down them. The highest graded wrestler at the end of the month, for, right before the IPA per view, will be the number one contender to the championships. Oh, that's very interesting. But how will the grading system work and will be decided? That will be decided by the general managers, both Soraya Knight and Fabian Schumacher, as well as an expert panel of former wrestlers on the roster, including our Hall of Famers, Emil Satochi, Freddie Stahl, Ursula Neumann, and Beth Kachansky. Let's move on to the next match, scheduled for one fall. And introducing first, he is the It Factor and uh, Mr. NSW, De Mundo. I, I hope he's not gonna play his guitar. I hope he can maybe see get to smash it. Oh, he's got dollar bills on it. Why would you need dollar bills? We're here in the UK, we use pounds. Okay, whatever Mundo, whatever you want to use. He's part of the underground roster but he comes here to redeem himself because his first match was against Damian Valentine which he lost. So, we gotta find out whether he's uh, capable of uh, defeating his... Oh! Um? Who's this? A mystery opponent. Named Shane Hunter, but can we see his face? This is pretty impressive, actually. This is this is unique. What a unique way to enter the ring. Really? Okay. And he's dancing. Maybe he's an ideal partner for Mercedes Ritchie, our current Academy Women's Champion, the Dancing Diva. Well, apparently, Shane Hunter can do the same. Any suggestions to that? What we should call these that we're seeing right now? I love to hear them in a chat. And of course, predictions on who's going to win the match, either Domingo or Shane Hunter, let us know. Oh, and he's changed quickly as well. Good luck to our gentlemen, the bell is wrong and we're on the way. And immediately get suplexed. I hope it's nobody's husband, but if he is, yeah, now it's a party. <laughs> it's a suplex party, that's what it is here on Suplex Night in the Academy. But whose man this is? We don't know. Absolutely no clue. Well then, oh, here we go on the apron, but Shane Hunter's getting back into it. Ooh, the straps down the Munda for a fight. Ooh, just looking for that right punch. Just didn't connect. Oh, and now he's going to go with it. Oh, right in the back. And the Munda's in trouble, but he doesn't want to go 0 to 2 in the academy. Winning on underground, but losing to your students. Ouch, that's painful. Oh, there we go. Nice rolling elbow. And the window tries to recover on the apron. 
And Shane Hunter's just smirking. Knowing he's got it in the pocket. Oh, but no, there's the fight back. And of course, the Munda will not be graded because he's part of the underground uh, roster. This might be an excellent grade for Shane Hunter. What a huge power slam. The greats and the wrestler of the night uh, awards will be unveiled on uh, our YouTube network exclusively tomorrow afternoon. Therefore, we will know what the new ranks will be as well. Oh, God. Up. Oh. Nope. And the window is going to the outside. Oh, and he's thinking about it. What I have to do to beat Shane Hunter, but Shane Hunter is outside. No! Switch around tactics here by the Mundo. Oh, puts him in the steel steps. Same tactics that Rachel Walker applied. He's going for that deadlift, though. Deadlift, and now. Oh! On the back. Now the will be felt tomorrow. I reckon he needs some painkillers. Job was the counter still though, but Shane Hunter is still getting back Brazilian as he is and now a piece of his own medicine here. And Shane Hunter now a little bit too relaxed, but not too much saying, come on Mundo, get back in the ring. Already celebrating, but Shane Hunter shouldn't get too cocky after all. If he can back it up, that's great, but if he can't, he'll be in trouble. And Mundo puts him on the apron. But Shane Hunter fights back in all possible ways and just look at that. Incredible agility here and it looks like it's going to be a super kick night. Super kick. Oh but no back body drop. More like a slightway body drop. Jesus. The window is not giving up. Neither Shane Hunter. These two men are going at it full impact non stop. Oh! And Snapmare now to ease it off, trying to go and do more damage. In the meantime, we'll tank partners in NSW, the OLW, EAW, CWE, YTW 18 Plus. Uh, Scottish Wrestling Network and the Wrestling Matters Podcast. Oh. And a triple German suplex by the Mundo. Is that the end? Will the Mundo win? No to count. Will the teacher be out teached again by a student? Oh, and the Mundo just might do so. Up. And the refresh. Cover. One. Two. Oh my god, he kicks out. You are not serious. You just can't be serious. My goodness me. What an incredible job. And this match is still going. Just like the women's matchup, it's so close, but then again, it's so right to see this. Oh, and there it is. Right on the shoulder blades. Oh, knee strike, knee strike, wow. But the Mundo, it's not over yet. The Mundo being the warrior <laughs> and Shane again. Saying what you can do, I can do better. It's going on the chin. It's going to be a super kick. And what more? No, no, it's not over yet. Not the super kick. But also, drop dead. Gorgeous. One, two, three. 
the hunt is over and the winner is the hunter his prey tonight the Mundo absolutely crafty start here by the debutante Shane Hunter and ladies and gentlemen we are not done yet no 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 not at all because after this the RFPW Academy champion Josh Sniper will defend his title in an open challenge and again what a brilliant job by Shane Hunter as the lights dim a little bit And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Because we have our challenger. And he's here. I can't believe it. You cannot just tell me we just saw that. If this is true, I shall drink a lot tonight. And tomorrow, and the day after, and all that. Whole weekend. Ladies and gentlemen. He's here after resigning in NSW and residing there for a couple of years. He's now here from Coventry, England. It's Morgan Wolf. Welcome, Morgan, to the family. It's a pleasure to have you around here. What an amazing, amazing haul this is for RFPW and we thank you for signing that lovely contract well then ladies and gentlemen this is a grand main event and we've all been waiting for it and I hope you have been too. If you have a prediction on who is going to win this match and leave the Academy of Champion here tonight. Morgan Wolf or Josh Snipe, I want your predictions in right now. Very important. We will put up the poll uh, regarding that. Uh, right now we're filling it in as is. What will happen is it will pop up on your screen stating that we have a poll on going. And it's going to be very, very interesting. And ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the reigning and defending champion from Kingston, Ontario, Canada. He is Josh Sniper. Absolutely incredible. And he's here. Josh Sniper also recently defended his championship and now you know that he won his match against Damian Valentine at the We Are About To Lose Control I pay per view to retain. Damian Valentine was 3-0, now 3-1. We didn't expect that to happen but things like those do happen. That is what we can tell. So matter of events it's time to get things going here on the network Oh, there we go. It's time to go. 
as we get ready for the introductions. Oh, TZ Mass, thank you very much. Uh, we've been doing this for four years, and it's only been me during that four years on two or three exemptions, but uh, thank you very much. Uh, make sure to follow the stream because we'll be on there quite uh, more often. Uh, follow us and if you want to know more about me personally because I also do more YouTube and Twitch work then uh, please send me a message right after the show and we'll uh, get to discussing here we are the main event Academy Championship Wolf the challenger sniper defending and he pushes him back right in the corner wasting no time and you don't need to but the referee says stalemate let's get back into it He's got to keep that up. Oh, and Wolf. Oh, puts him down. Jesus. Anything else? <laughs> Gosh, this is, this is only the start. Oh, bloody hell. Um... Oh, <laughs> Sniper does want to defend that championship that he won on the very first New Era Academy show. Oh, ho, ho, harsh strike by Morgan Wolf though. Wolf on his debut might be able to grasp this championship that Josh Sniper has been holding since the 16th of March. And oh boy, does he want it. And it can happen. Oh, oh, st oh. Gosh, that stretch. Want to go out on a limb. And b usually tear him up. You can try to. Oh, no, oh, yeah. No way. Morgan Wolf is just trying to maul the champ to a pull, but he's kicking and missing a lot. And Sniper comes back after a nice shoulder roll. But the sideway body drops are rich tonight. Morgan Wolf trying to relax a little bit now. He's got it. You don't want to intensify it as much all at once. Oh god. And Sniper now is looking to get back in the match because he does want it and we uh, thank TZ Mass for also following us right here on Twitch. Thank you very much. Brings the follower count to 8 and we're looking for more. More and more the better. And you can all join us on the Academy. Still much more to go. How much is left in the fuel tank for both these gentlemen? I know they both want to win. But they've got to try and do more if they don't. This might as well be over. Ooh, God. But the fight is real and dodges, but doesn't dodge a knee strike. But Morgan Wolf just keeps going. Oh, TKO! Out of nowhere, cover by the ropes. Left arm and left hand on the ropes. Rope break. Cover doesn't count. Morgan Wolf just bashes him into the turnbuckle now. Leaves him hanging on. Now shoves it across the face. Oh, and he, what is he going for here? Oh! That might be the knockout. But Morgan Wolf is not considering even going to a cover. Tries to go for the TKO, misses. Josh Sniper to take over the momentum and does so. Future Shock. How's the champ hanging in? Look at that. Oh, oh. 
takes him in, eats him up, spews him back out. And after that, it's a choke slam. And sniper two. No, it's not over. How? Holy shit. Incredible stuff here. Double axe handle now. Oh no! Morgan Wolf, can he become the new Academy Champion? No! Ladies and gentlemen, soon we uh, are getting clearance from a local audio company to use their music for all of our wrestlers. It's going to take some time and it will, but we'll try the very best we can get. Oh! Elbow drop to the back. And it's not been over yet, Jesus. Oh God, damn. Oh, I'm more like a wolf now. Can't take it over, flip over, whoa. Face breaker. Morgan Wolf can win a TKO. Cover. And again, he's caught the ropes. Amazing ring awareness here by the champion. And how long will he hold on for? Oh, Morgan Wall was keeping it going, but he should have known that it was so close to the ropes. He should have known. But Morgan Wolf. Oh, Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen, Morgan Wolf going to the top rope. That's never any good. Oh, but it's not over. We're still going. It's the code breaker. And this match still keeps going. Can't believe it. Who's going to win? Who's going to walk out a champion? What will the grades do for this amazing matchup? What will our judges decide? The impact keeps going. Elm Suplex 9 Sniper keeps the action going. Huge uppercut now. Punch is landing. Backhand chops. And there he goes. Hooks him in. Eats him up. Spews him out. Try to go for the cover now, but I think he's got a little bit of tightness in his body, which is very much understandable after such a high impact match. And only gets a two count. And that's what you're going to get, ladies and gentlemen. You need to hit it fast. Sniper wants to, but Morgan Wolf here. Might just take it down. No, Sniper gets away. And Sniper now picks him up. And a bit of his own medicine. Hooks the leg. One. Two, three. Josh Sniper, after such a volatile match, and he really needs to get two breaths here. Wow. What an explosive match. As we'll take a look at the replay, and we know the result. A good match, indeed, absolutely.
We'll be back next week, of course, with more of the Academy. And right after the weekend, we'll have Underground, as always. I thank you very much for watching. My name is Jeffrey Blight, the former Tag Team Champion and former NSW Shockwave Champion. And I'll be seeing you soon on Underground and the Academy. If you've missed anything, uh, go make sure to follow us. Watch the on-demand broadcast here on Twitch TV slash the RFPW Network. Or go to youtube.com slash RFPW 2014 and subscribe. And uh, to the viewers, uh, if we want to find where that is, we uh, will put the link up right about now. And you can uh, subscribe to us, like us, comment us, watch the shows, very important to us to grow. And uh, again, we'll be seeing you pretty damn soon. And to now, we go to the official result for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, your winner of the match and still Academy Champion, Josh Sniper. Have a good night, afternoon, morning, anywhere you are around the world. Goodbye.